Evening guys, I've uh, decided to test these uh, monitors, um, that one, which is a Multisync LV17M by NEC, NEC, that works fine. This one, however, I don't know if that's coming up on the camera, is it? You can just see something flash at the bottom. That's all this monitor does. So I'm guessing there's a power issue there somewhere. So what I'm going to do is just pop you there for a second. Grab another one. This one's from 12 volt. So I'm going to unplug this one. Static shock through the case of the computer. Get rid of that one. I'm going to use this 12 volt adapter if it fits. It's just got the higher voltage over So, that one's a bin one. I will drag the other two up here eventually and uh, actually let's uh, sit you on top of these hard drives. Better yet, I can remember where I put my bloody tripod. Oh. I find it. Right. I will move you when I've got it set up. So, yeah. Must be a weight. Ah, here we go. Maybe that must tilt or something. This is all tied up in knots. Cables wrapped around here. Well, this is a pro view. It's the second one with an ecology energy sticker on it. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, so plug in the VGA. And hopefully, this plug on the end of this 12 volt adapter will fit. No light on yet. Uh, no, there is. What do you mean out of range? Seriously? So is that a working working one or is this a file one? Can't be out of range. I was only using on board bloody graphics. Hmm. 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 Your on board speaker on the computer works then. <laughs> I haven't got these speakers plugged in. There's speakers on this, by the way. No video signal. No, I know there's no video signal because I turned the computer off. So let's see if it's going to... Oh, that's working so far. Will it boot with it, though? See, I'm just seeing if it'll work from boot. I've got a Dell one through there, but I've got the sort of... Uh, make an adapter up for it. <laughs> Which I think I may butcher that one to do it. I haven't got one with a Dell um, connector on. Not a 12 volt one anyway. I've got 19 volt ones. Is it going to work or is it going to throw a hissy fit at me? No, it seems to be working. 
now anyway. Now that it's rebooted. I don't know if it automatically sets the range, maybe. Menu work? Yeah. Menu work? Oh, I see. Clock. Judge. All the positions. Information. 60 kilohertz. That's all right then, it's working at the right thing now. Right. Well, that's good, that one work. Right. I want that. I want those. Let me go through it. Mm. I'm not going to test those other two PCs tonight, though. Because that means actually clambering over a load of crap in the shed to get to them. So, I've got one dead one so far. I'm just going to turn the kitchen light off because I haven't got a lot of electric left on the meter. I've got to make it last a day yet. Right. So, what I've basically got to do is cut this Dell plug off of this old adapter and stick it onto this one. But before I do that, I'm actually going to make sure it fits the uh, monitor. Um... I haven't got a cable for this Dell adapter anyway, because it takes to a weird one I don't have. <laughs> so, I'm going to butcher this one. If it fits. Should fit. one through there, right in butcher. Let's have a look. Mm, it's gone dark. So, turn the light on. It's a pile of stuff for that lad to look through. It's getting bigger. Oh, there's Nemo. In his uh, homemade bed that he loves. And I must have disturbed him because he's looking a bit pissed off. Right. I don't think any are going to fit, to be honest. No. Right, so if this last one doesn't fit... No. Uh, the only other option I've got, I've got an HP one. But I can't remember if that fits my... um. Oh no, it doesn't fit the HP laptops, does it? Right, let me stand up. <laughs> right. Turn that light off. Plan B. I don't find it. <laughs> let me find one that will fit. What socket has my big HP got down there? My big HP doesn't use it either, so... Hang on a minute. I've taken the bloody thing back through there, haven't I? <sighs> now I've got to find it in here. I've just remembered I put it in that box somewhere. I've decided to take some of them laptop adapters to the car boot. Right. Find it now. That's not the one. Is it that one? No. Nope. It's one just like that. Doesn't look like a Dell. No, nope, that's a Toshiba. Oh, for pig's sake, what have I done with that? It's got H for Ah, here it is. Mm. I don't know. 
the same size as the bells from the look of it. Let's see. tested at some point. Uh, well, it hasn't been tested since 2012. Test date, 4th, tw um, 2012. Retest date, or retest due, 4th, 13. What's this one? Well, that's an older one. Date, 4th of the 10th. Next test, 4th of the 11th. That's an older one. Oh well, I passed my electrical safety test anyway. Hey, it does work. I must do an auto adjustment then at the, when I first um, turn the machine on. Got volume wheel on there, look at that. That's the first monitor I've come across. Actually, has a volume control built into it. Uh, well, you. Yeah. Fuck, wrong one. <laughs> that was the PC one, not the bloody one. I so I was just thinking, uh, Swap some plugs around. It's gonna piss off the system. Let's see if we can get a laminator to do anything. So there's a bit of a test video. Coke bottles to pick up. Right. So here's laminator number one. If they do do something. If they do do something. Do do. Well, actually, I think this one's a dead one. I think that sort of gives it away. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bother with that one. <laughs> they weren't lying when they said that paper jammed in it. <laughs> right. So let's get one of these ones that I know the paper's not jammed in. Um... I have got some paper I can put through it to see if anything does go through it fine as well. Which I'll grab. Move those screws that way. This is another... Not a good sign when something rattles around inside it, is, is it? That's not normally a good thing. Alrighty then, sir. I'm not sure if I should actually plug this into the same socket the PC's connected in case it is fine, but uh, here we go. Well, the light is on. Thank you. 
120 mil. 125 mil. Well, it turns on at least. Uh, but we'll paint the feed through it. without it jamming, that's what I want to know. I've got no fucking idea how to use one of these. So. <laughs> the bin behind me stink. Cause, uh, I assume that would go in like that. So do that. And what? Smells hot, is it supposed to smell hot? Am I even putting it through the right way? Something's just falling out of this. <laughs> ah. Doing something. Very slowly. Well, if that takes the paper all the way through, which it is without jamming, then I think we can assume this one works. As long as you've got the laminate, laminated pockets to go with it. Yeah. Right, so that one can go at the car boot with me then. Okay. What will it be? Ooh, this is not hot. I suppose it's got to be hot to seal the laminate together. Right. So that's a pass. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Actually, I don't know where I'll put it. I'll go and put this one in the... Uh, Boot pile, I think. Ooh, that's that actually smells so nice. Right. So, let's have a look at the other one, see if we can make this one do anything. This is actually a different make, this one. Hmm. I think. Well, I can't see how they're written on. Oh, it's an Argos one. The other one's an Alba. I might keep the Argos one I've got work, because I haven't actually got one. And it would mean I could never make laminated signs. Telling people to piss off if I want to. <laughs> so, will we get the magic smoke?
jamming this one up. Should we have a look inside it? How long has the video been going on for? Uh, should we have a look inside it? I think it's only four screws to undo, so what would be a good idea? Unplug it first. I don't particularly want to get a belt off this. Really then. One. If it is as simple as just unclogging the feeder, or whatever it's called, then uh, I'll do that. That reminds me, I've got to do my manual paper shredder at some point. So I could have a look at that and see if I can get that one going on. I wouldn't mind uh, keeping one. I will take the good one. Sounds like my cat is up to something in the bathroom. I will take my, well, that good one, to the car boot. I need two hands for this bit. I'm not sure we hit screw somewhere. Right. and get it off. There seem to be some locking tabs in the middle. So, get it off. Come on. The other side pop. Oh, oh, dear. Oh. Oh, I see. So, oh, I'm taking the wrong side off. Way up my arm. So there's a plastic y thing sort of clogging that. Whoops! Camera curled over. Um, that actually looks like something was put through here that wasn't meant to go through here. It looks like it's wrapped around the bloody roll. Right, so I can get that off. Um, I have to do something a bit dangerous here. The hell is my cat doing in that bathroom? Where's the plug? I have to plug it in because I need to move the roller. So, plug it in. Yeah, whatever that is, is stuck on the roller. So we'll see if it takes it this time, shall we? Well, it's taking a throw on the piss, at least. But, uh, it is feeding. So, if I can get this apart to get the rest of this shit off, this one will work. It is, uh, it's feeding through, slowly, but it is feeding through. I don't want to touch anything, because it is all live, and it is 240 volts. I know what a 240 volt shock feel like, thank you, and I don't want one. <laughs> I wouldn't do to want to make loads of signs uh, in a hurry, would it? <laughs> well, I've now got the task of uh, trying to disassemble this a bit more, maybe. So 
so I can get that crap off the uh, roller. Cutting the voltage down, I can see a bridge rectifier down in there. So you can see the four diodes. But apart from that, I can see a little um, fuse there as well, soldered on. But apart from that, I can't see. There's no transformer or anything in here. Okay, so somehow. I haven't figured out quite how yet. But I've got to get really I need to get the roller out of there to uh really want to use a knife to try and split it off. Slide some. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to get that off. Because I don't know how to get the... Uh, rollers out. It cools down quickly or it didn't get hot, one or the other. Um, I know that can be fixed. I know it's feeding, so what I've got to do is somehow. Ah, I think I've just found out that somehow. I'm going to undo. Because it's only stuck on one roller. But it would be a lot easier to uh, do this if I could get the roller out. Before I do that. Is that going to wiggle off? It is. Good. But is it going to wiggle off enough to allow me to uh, get to the roller a bit? Easier? Yeah, it's might if I uh, detach the motor from this end. take the wire off. That's alright because I don't want to take the wire off. I just want to Bloody wires. Um, hmm. No, I'm just going to have to pop Oops, that way up. Come on, don't you come. Wiggly, wiggly, woo. roller. Um, well I want to continue this video, but the batteries are going to die soon, so what I'm going to do, uh, I've got a fresh pair in here, I'll just grab a fresh pair and I'm going to put a fresh pair in the camera, and we'll come back and we'll see if we can finish this repair, shall we? So, right, I'll be back. Well, I'm back, I'm new batteries in the camera, and 
Voila! <laughs> Come off in one tube. That was literally the problem. It was actually quite thick as well, wrapped around that. So, uh, even though it was feeding the paper through, that obviously wouldn't have uh, worked. So, now, I can reassemble the laminator. <laughs> and we'll have a working laminator. So, actually, you know what? It'd be a lot easier if I could find that damn tripod. Now, I know I had it in the lap here in the lounge this morning, so I had to take it off the camera. The question is, I don't actually know where I put it. <laughs> Knowing me, I probably threw it somewhere, and now I can't find it. It would be very helpful if I could, unless I thought I took it off in the here in the lounge, and I didn't. Did I take my pill earlier? Yeah, I did take my pill earlier. That's all right. Uh, right. My stepdad wants a couple of those fans for something. He's got ah, there it bloody is. <laughs> right. So on with the tripod, and uh, we'll go through and we'll reassemble. The uh, laminator shouldn't actually be too difficult because all I've got to do with this is uh, get this uh, slid down the metal framework like that. Oops. goes back on like that. Uh, got two gear wheels to go back on here. where the um, plastic switch cover went flew off somewhere when I took it apart. So, one. We rotate it and uh, try to wiggle the other screw into there, which doesn't want to let it go in, typically. You always get one. It's got to be a pain in the bleeding ass. There we go. Right. So that's that bit reassembled. There's no wires come off. Four of those. I just remember I've got a screw missing from this end. I think I might be this one. Oh, there's a PC screw. Boy. Yeah, this one is. Oh, that's a screw as well. 
lost the screw off the end. Oh well, the screw fits, then I'll use it. head because I'm confused now. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I see. It's not long. I've got to have a long screw in there if you look at it. Now I've got to get this screw out. Oh, there you come. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. There we go. Assemble everything else that's just four bits. So just put this circuit board back into place. With that. You can put all the rollers back in place like that. Uh, I've got the front cover there. I'll go on like that. But uh, first, I've got to grab the. Uh, Slightly switch that come off that end. Uh, find it first. Oh look, one of the screwdrivers I was looking for. <laughs> um, ah, there it is. Here at B. So it's got to go. I'm not actually sure what way up it's supposed to go. Oh yeah. Does it not matter? Right, so that's got to go there. And uh, this goes. might have been the screw I heard hit the floor a minute ago. Because I know I did have five of these uh, same screws. Four for the base and one for the end for the rollers. And at least people will know how to fix one of these simple laminators, won't you? Because I've just done it. So if it clogs, you know how to take it apart. Quite a simple little device in there, really. Okay, so uh, we'll see if we blow it up this time. Nope, I can hear the rollers moving, so we get the bar piece of paper, we put that in there like that. And it is taking the paper. So we have a successful repair. Ah, just found the other base scroll, put that in there. See? It is working. It is alive. Yay. 
Uh, we have a look at this one. Just want to make it an hour video of me actually doing something rather than talking. Yeah, why not? Let's have a look at this. Is that four screws as well? That looks like it. Well, I've got myself at least one laminator. Well, I can only use one at a time, so I only need one. Right. Before I forget, I'm just going to pop this last screw back in. And then we'll see if we can pull the alga apart, shall we? get into that one and unclog it and see if we can get that one to work. There's obviously got to be a reason for it to jam. So we'll see if we can find that reason. That Argos one is pretty much the same as this, it's just a bit smaller. I've basically copied the Alba design. Right, so I'm going to put base screws over there. No, I'm going to put them behind the camera. This has actually got a thing to wrap your power cord around on the bottom here as well. That's uh, handy if you want to pack it up and uh, put it away somewhere. At least Tidy the cable up out of the way. I didn't think that plastic was going to come off that roller and the other laminator as easy as that. I assume this is going to do the same thing as the other one. So, I guess it comes off from the top first. Maybe? <laughs> underneath this rubber foot. No, there is no action. <laughs> so, what the ding blazes is holding this together. Give me my own. There we go. Whoops. Pop that one. Why is the Argos one? Yeah. It's just well clipped on, that's all. <laughs> I think that's well clipped on was an understatement. Switch. It's not going to be a screw. 
screw through there because it'll be screwed through the switch. So it is just a stubborn bloody clip. Does not want to friggin' come off. I am not done fighting yet, come on you bastard. Don't get paper stuck in that roller. <laughs> Found it, secure it and screw. Cheat the sons of bitches and put a security screw in it. wad of plastic in there might be what jams. Alright then. Oops. Let's turn it on. Now I've got that plastic out of the way. Now I've got that plastic out of the way. I'll say it while I'm up there. We'll see if that screwed up bit of paper is going to come out of there, shall we? Rollers, uh, well and truly jammed. Okay, so pull it out as much as I can. Right then, I think I've cleared it. Ladies and gentlemen, well, ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, right, out, this one actually gets spoken on. Supposed to feed under a metal plate in here. In this one, you see in this album there's a metal plate down there, and the paper is supposed to feed under it, and it isn't. So I'm going to have to have the metal plate off. Well, I've got this out of the way. So. Right. 
without burning my fingers on the heater. I have to turn you round as well. well. At least I've unclogged it. Right. Let's see what's under the plate. that plate in there. Plug it back in. Do. I'm gonna go and get a fresh sheet of paper because I've got a bit more for that. with that one, shall we? So that's what it's supposed to do. What bend is it? See, then this plate sits on to that. Oh, we'll just cook my finger on that bloody hot plate. That's what it's supposed to do. Let's see. line all these holes up. we appear to be feeding through this time. So, what I might do, I'll give it another test after this. I'll put these two other screws in, but I won't screw them down tightly.
and then I'll try it once more. I might try it and turn it around. And then I can put it all back together again. So let's try it through this one, shall we? It appears to be feeding through. No, it's not getting jammed. Yep. The red light just turned blue. Right, oh, that's the switch. Put that switch back on. Well, that's another one I can put together and say work. That's another fix. All unplugged. All working, feeding through now. Because uh, I've got to touch the electrics where the switch is. Unplug it. And... Plunk on the plastic slider. So... Place that side. Yep. So, here you go. Put the top cover back on there. Screw it all back together. And if I want, I've got an alga lying out here as well. Uh, what I'm do is screw it together and give it one last. Go. I didn't actually see. Ooh, son of a bitch. Can this end? That's it. One, two. I don't think I'm going to worry about the security screw. As long as the four main screws are in. I should have guessed it top company like this one would have put a security screw in. Hit him under a bloody QC sticker. Give it one while. While it's all plugged in. Well, while it's all screwed together, I should say. Jammed again now, put it all together. on the other side, so... Ah! Let's see what... That's warped. Right, one more piece of paper.
see what the issue is. This is 